Welcome. In this video, we will show you how to use OC MIDI to control Titan 1 with your MIDI controller. Search OC MIDI in your browser. Go to OC MIDI main webpage. Select the language. Go to OC MIDI for Titan 1 product page. Click the download menu and download the OC MIDI installer. Open your browser download window. Run the installation program you have just downloaded. Select the language. Follow the steps of the setup wizard. Click the Finish button to complete the installation. At the end of the installation, a shortcut to the application will be created on the desktop. Double-click the shortcut to start the application. The first time the application starts, it informs us that there are no configurations available. Click Yes to create a new configuration. Once the configurator is open, the window to create a new configuration is automatically displayed. Enter a name for the configuration. We are going to use a Cork Nano Control 2 controller in this video tutorial, so we will call the configuration Nano Control. Enter a name for the MIDI controller. The name identifies the controller in the configuration editor. Select the MIDI controller model that you are going to use. Select Maki Control Controller if your controller works in the Maki Control emulation mode or MIDI controller in all other cases. In this case, we will use a Nano Control 2 controller in CC mode, so we select MIDI Controller. Select Input and Output MIDI devices of your MIDI controller. Click the OK button. The new configuration is shown in the Configuration Editor. Select Capture Mode. In Capture Mode, the configurator learns MIDI values automatically. To map a fader, select it on the configurator and move the fader or knob in the MIDI controller to its minimum and maximum positions several times. The configurator captures the MIDI values. Since the Nano Control 2 controller has only 8 faders, we are going to assign the first two Titan 1 faders to MIDI controller knobs and the rest of the Titan 1 faders to the MIDI controller faders. To map a button, select it on the configurator and press it on the MIDI controller. We have mapped all the faders and swap and flash buttons. Now we're going to map some more buttons. We can also map the wheels of Titan 1 to control colors, positions, and so on. Since the knobs of the Nano Control 2 controller 
our potentiometers, we will configure the wheels in absolute mode. To tap a wheel in absolute mode, select it in the configurator and turn the knob on the MIDI controller left and right completely several times. Map the wheels disable button. This button allows us to turn the knob without turning the Titan 1 wheel to recover the position when the minimum or maximum knob positions are reached on the MIDI controller. In the workspace tab, we can map buttons of the MIDI controller to buttons of the workspace windows, groups, colors, positions, gobos and beams, and playbacks. In this example, we are going to map four playback buttons. Select the simulation mode to verify that all faders and buttons are properly configured. When you press a button or move a fader or knob on the MIDI controller, the corresponding control is highlighted in the configurator. Save the configuration and close the configuration editor. Before connecting OSIM MIDI to Titan 1, select the configuration you want to use and the input and output devices that correspond to the MIDI controller. Then click on the Start button to connect OSI MIDI to Titan 1. OSI MIDI window is automatically minimized to allow view the Titan 1 window completely. Once connected to Titan 1, OSI MIDI allows you to control the functions of Titan 1 that we have previously mapped with the configuration editor, faders, buttons, wheels, etc. For example, we can locate with the configure button and use the knobs to control the wheels and modify positions, colors, gobos, intensities, etc. We can control the buttons configured in the playback window. In this case, we have configured four playback buttons. That's all. Thank you very much for watching the video. And to finish, I would like to comment that from the product website, you can access more information as well as make the purchase of licenses.